Hi everyone, it's Becky here. So welcome to another new video on my YouTube channel. So Merry Christmas to you all, Happy Holidays. So now as you can see, I am back in Vancouver now to stay with my parents. And in the coming new year, I'll continue to teach in-person classes to the kids and teens in my neighborhood um, to show them the wonderful world of drawing and painting. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how I will sketch this box of jam and syrup. So I'm going to give, I'm going to give this as a gift to, uh, to one of our family friends. This one that contains um, a cherry syrup, blueberry syrup, peach jam, pure pear jam. So it's a really fancy box, a really nice gift box to sketch. I'm going to show you how I do this in my art journal. So this is my sketching kit bag in a makeup bag. So I use very minimal amount of tools. So I'm going to put the names of these pens and brushes in the description part of this video. So usually one or two fine liner pens and two water brushes for painting watercolors. And of course a towel to clean the water brushes and not too big watercolor palette it was 24 colors in it but I very rarely use all of the 24 colors and everything just uh, fits nicely inside this makeup bag and my current sketchbook is a square format 8.5 inches square the brand is Speedball handbook journal and uh, the paper is actually 90 pounds okay yeah 90 pounds and it's just good enough to, uh, to do some light watercolor washes all right so i'm going to quickly show you the pages that i have done in my current sketchbook i still have about six to seven videos from montreal that i still need to edit and upload so this one, ooh, one of my last sketches in Montreal around the end of uh, November at the uh, Cap Cafe. More cafe sketches, the indoor and outdoor view. And this one is a, is, is a sketch demo for my Sunday class. And one last sketch at the uh, Cap Cafe that I love so much. And first that first sketch back home in Vancouver on the first and second day of December. And we had a lot of snow this winter in Vancouver. We had a snowstorm earlier this week and now rain is coming. So there's a lot of um, ice and flooding rain going on. But uh, we do have some sunny days in between. And first cafe sketch back in Vancouver in Gastown. Another cafe sketch on Commercial Drive on on a on an overcast day in early December. And a snow globe sketch, another demo from a Wednesday class. Sketching at the Key in New Westminster. And I'm um, sketching these for my Sunday sketch class on Zoom. More cafe sketches. This one is uh, this one was done at Perfecto Cafe in Yaletown, Vancouver, one of the most expensive living parts in Vancouver. Cafe interior, my food and drinks, and the people around me. At home sketches, these little snippets are really fun to do and relaxing. A demo for my Wednesday sketch class. And a cafe sketch on December the 15th at Craft Cafe in New Westminster. I love their um, decorations for Christmas. And a sketch in Metrotown. So I used to live around here when I was in high school. So this, this, this part of the city is very nostalgic. Another cafe sketch with 
a hazelnut latte. It was really good. This one was in New Westminster. And another snowstorm arrived in Vancouver around December the 19th to the 20th. And I captured one of my neighbors walking his dog in the snow. More smaller sketches of snow outside my living room window. And a really fun and relaxing sketch at Starbucks um, in the plaza in my neighborhood. And some more fun sketches in the kitchen. My cup of coffee and um, the oat milk for my coffee. Butter, ham. Okay, and today I'm gonna sketch on this page. Yeah, so I'm gonna sketch this really nice wooden box of jams and syrup. All right, so I think I'm gonna take the whole page to put this box in, I'm beginning with the top line and the top side of this wooden box. And the left side, which is pretty narrow and a little foreshortened, and the front side of the box. I'm not finishing the very right hand side because I don't know exactly where it should end. Because I really want to fit all of these bottles and jars inside before I finish the right uh, vertical line there. So I'm going to start with the first cubicle on the left. And the second one with the wooden bar there. And now I'm ready to finish the very vertical line on the right. So this is one of the techniques of freehand drawing that you have to finish a little bit of the middle details before you finish the other side. And um, drawing the little wooden tab, dividing the, the sections, beginning to draw the bottle on the left. Really cute little ear, little handle and a body part. And the neck area is actually a little cylinder. And drawing the label on the body part, using very gentle pressure to show the shine of the glassy surface. And drawing these cute details of cherries and leaves on the label. And I think these are from a fruit farm in Summerland in BC here and using these loose vertical streaks to show the grain of wood. Adding the vertical hatching lines to show shade inside the box. Now I'm ready to draw the first and second jar on top of the fruit jam. And I think each of these jars, uh, three-dimensional form is a prism. The bottom is actually a hexagon or something, a pentagon or hexagon. And it's bending around. So I'm using these loose vertical lines to show the bending edges. So in the front I can see three sides of each each of these jar and drawing the two jars on the bottom with the lids. Using loose lines to show the uh, the rim area and quick vertical lines to show the edges of each little prism. And having fun writing down these letters and draw the graphics of fruits. And to drawing this apple here, this butter apple jam, and this one is a strawberry jam, and this one here is the pear jam. And yeah, so that's it for these little jars. Now I'm ready to draw the last bottle. There's the ring area and the body part. And again, I use very gentle pressure of my pen to draw those shiny streaks around the neck area and drawing the label, these letters inside and these little blueberries with the leaves, more shining streaks with loose broken lines and a bit of hatching to show shadows inside the box. A bit on the side too, a little grainy texture for the wood. That's it. All right, now I'm getting ready to paint watercolors. Unfolding my palette, put it in front of me, and um, I'm gonna begin with my Holbein brand water brush, which is pretty watery. And I want a really loose and light layer of wash for my first layer. And that's my towel there on the upper corner of this video. 
just wetting the whole area with clear water and grabbing a little bit of yellow ochre and a bit of medium yellow, diluted a little bit to show the light yellow color of the, of the wooden boards both for the inside and outside, wrapping around these bottles and jars. And clean my brush on the towel. And oh, actually now I want to switch to my less watery Deceres water brush. I'm grabbing a bit of uh, yellow ochre containing less water compared to the wooden area for the labels of syrup and Jam. So when we're doing a watercolor painting, it's a really good idea and it saves a lot of time to paint the areas with the same colors first. Okay, so as you can see, I began with the yellows and now I'm punching on these orange and reds for these fruits on the labels. Really cute little shapes. And it's raining outside and all the snow is melting away. I'm just spending a really peaceful time here in the kitchen, painting the time away. And it is the afternoon of Christmas Eve here in Vancouver. And I like to spend a lot of time in my life in a quiet way because I am actually an introverted person and um, I just like to be my, by myself most of the time. And now I'm ready to paint the syrup of cherry. This is a mix of uh, magenta and royal purple. As you can see, I left some little streaks white of the paper to show the shine of syrup and the, and the uh, glass bottle. Uh, wet into wet, some royal purple mixed with a little bit of cobalt blue or ultramarine blue for darker shade. Again, preserve those white streaks to show the shine. And the blueberry syrup is very much the same tone. It's like a deep magenta or purple color. To make the magenta look even deeper, we can mix in a bit of cobalt blue or ultramarine blue into it. Again, leaving those highlight streaks. And I just cleaned my brush on the towel and then starting to add these warm colors of uh, muted yellow, um, yellow oranges. These jam are very much the same tone. Very muted yellow brown. This one maybe maybe a little more pinkish because it's strawberry. And using leftover yellow ochre to paint the caps. And now because I just cleaned my brush and just grabbed the leftover gray in my palette that I mixed with blue and a bit of purple. Very much diluted to paint the shadows inside the box. Yeah, those areas inside are actually contain a lot of medium and dark shade, so the bottles could stand out better and to make the wooden pieces more three-dimensional. Adding the lines for the grainy texture of wood. Even more intense for that little board on the left. A little more streaks to show the wooden texture. Okay, now I'm just kind of adding this line for the top of the label that I forgot to draw. After that, watercolor dries. And same for the texture of the cap there. I'm grabbing a little blue to paint the blueberries. And some more brownish tone for these syrups. And leaving that corner, so those corner areas are actually popping out in front of us and they look shiny. And also for this, so for those bending edges, I'm leaving a little bit of a lighter tone. Yeah, just keep adding more layers of stronger muted brown tones for the jam and another layer for the syrup of cherry. Adding more blue tones. And same for the blueberry syrup. I'm trying to be a little gentle with my brush and not painting every single area from the previous layer of the syrup just to create a bit of gradients and interest. So that's very much it. Now I am adding a bit of rendering on the left side of each of the jam jars because those are prisms and all sides of prisms, they should have a different level of shade. 
So most of the light source comes from the right hand side. So the left side of these prism shaped jars are in shade. As you can see, I am adding a bit of leftover gray on the left side of each of these jars. Okay, and a little bit on the left of the syrup bottles. Just to show three dimensions of so these simple decisions are very important to help your painting look more interesting. You have to realize you have to realize it through your careful seeing first and observation skills. And now I just mix a bit of cobalt blue with royal purple, dilute it a little bit, paint it around the bottom um, edges for the shadow of the of the box. It's a purplish shadow. Even stronger tan, a very thin line around the very bottom edge. Drag it down a little bit to create a bit of transition. And I'm just writing down a little title for this sketch, the holiday gift set, and a little note of where I got it. And who it is for, for our family friend, Christine. Here is our little Christmas tree in the corner of our living room. With There's still a lot of snow outside, even though it's raining. It takes a long time for these snow to melt. Thank you so much for watching this video, everyone. Merry Christmas, and I'll see you again in the next video very soon. Have a great Christmas with your family and friends. Bye.